Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Life Size Live, the live web show produced entirely through the Life Size platform. I'm your host, Julian Fields, and seated by me today, we've got Robert Maloney, the uh, senior product manager here at Life Size, and we're talking about this big movement of people going toward the connected conference room. They're looking for smarter conferencing, conferencing equipment. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. So I don't know, maybe start with uh, what the heck is the Connected Conference Room? Sure, yeah, the, you know, the, the, the connected, uh, connected Conference Room uh, is a, a room that has uh, multiple different types of technology inside of it. Uh, a lot of these technologies um, uh, have been uh, split apart over the years and have not really been technologies. Think of something like a whiteboard, uh -huh. you know, as simple as that, are, are becoming uh, uh, increasingly more and more uh, integrated into uh, into the room okay. uh, as part of the room uh, into other technologies. Um, we're seeing uh, wireless presentation uh, really uh, on, on a huge rise right mm -hmm. now. Uh, for these rooms, so ways to be able to present inside of these rooms, to be able to to document things inside of these rooms, um, all the way down to uh, customization um, of the rooms is, is a huge feature that's that's a lot of people are, are looking for these days. Um, and uh, you know the, the the key of these sort of rooms is that whatever technology you take and put inside this room, so take life size for instance, mm -hmm. our uh, our hardware products have a very long life cycle. And one of the things that makes these rooms um, so uh, uh, attractive to people, other than the technology that's inside of them, is that they the features are evolving. You can take uh, uh, pieces of technology like the video conferencing, uh, like our video conferencing system, and we will feature up that system uh, throughout the, the life of that product. Um, it, it, you're, you're not having to refresh uh, uh, certain aspects of that room every. Uh, every couple of years. You so the hardware, you got to refresh the hardware. That's right. Because you've got integrated, connected software that's kind that's of right. Yeah. So it's really, way. it's really important that these these uh, devices that are inside of these rooms are connected into a platform, into okay. an on-premise or uh, a uh, cloud-based. Um, uh, uh, platform. Okay. Um, and that way they can take advantage of any sort of new feature updates that are rolled out. For instance, uh, just this uh, earlier this week, we, we launched the um, uh, customization right. feature for Phone HD. Right. So, so now the phone has been updated without me having to update the phone. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You have a whole new, new suite of features that that's you didn't cool. have before. You can now uh, update the wallpaper on the on the phone. Right. Uh, you can uh, have uh, the original release of it had a limitation of four custom buttons. Now you can have up to eight uh, custom buttons. Um, you can go in and, and customize the labels on the time zones. So if you don't want to have Denver as your your time zone on the on the phone HD, you can change that to say Boise um, if gotcha. you want to, yeah. or your office there, wherever that location is. So um, you know, and other things that we're seeing uh, a big driver for the connected conference room is not just the technology that's in it; it's the technology that people bring with them. You know, uh, everybody, uh, most people have a phone in their pocket, um, and they walk into the room and they want to be able to control aspects of that room via that that uh, handheld device. Okay. Um, so that's another another huge thing that's uh, really driving this uh, uh, this connected conference room movement. Okay, so you've got devices, Internet of Things type devices. Right. They're getting software updates. Their you know features are being requested through our like our community. People can go in and say, hey, I'd really like a custom background, and you're able to say that's very doable because yep. we can implement it through software, and you don't have to do anything on your end. That's exactly right. So what? So you said uh, your mobile phones are, are one thing. What are you know as somebody that's working on the product development, uh, what are some behaviors, some other behaviors that you're seeing? You know, drive the next level of, of interactivity in the conference room. Yeah, that, that's a, a very good question. So we are are, are uh, very constant, uh, very much uh, analyzing these markets. And right now, we, we, there's a huge trend. It's no secret that huddle rooms are, are a gigantic trend. Yep. Um, and every technology, Internet of Things company is trying to figure out how to get their stake inside of those those tiny little conference rooms. Um, right now, uh, globally, there's about 32 million uh, huddle room spaces. 
Um, and, and of those 32 million conference room spaces, only about 2% of them are actually enabled with video conferencing. Okay. And, and uh, a lot of them uh, have little to no technology inside of those rooms. Yeah, I know it's <coughs> common to just see like a phone or something inside of these. That's right. Room. Like they've made them so that people can go and work, but they've, that, that's such a silo where you can't connect out and, and work with other people. It's That's right. Yeah. And, and as meetings become, you know, uh, more frequent, uh, less structured, less formal. Um, you know, these just drop-in spaces. For instance, you and I met yesterday. Yep. No booking. <laughs> it's like a, a message. Hey, do you have a minute to chat? And we can we can collaborate on this thing. And and we found a room. Um, I was actually on video conferencing, so I, I called into whatever huddle you were in, or you called me. I don't know uh, <laughs> what we did. And. Uh, but it, it was it was very simple, very quick, non-formal meeting. Just got through uh, a few things that we wanted to get off our chests in the meeting and and um, and get it out there so we could start working on it. Without having to go to one of the you know three or four big conference rooms that are video enabled. That's right. It's, no, let's enable every room. The price points have come down so much. It's so easy to just you know displays nowadays are five hundred dollars to get the sixty inch monitor right. that you can put in a room and yeah, add so a camera and you're you're connected. Cost of entry is coming down yeah. uh, for these rooms, and that's been the, the big blocker for for a long time. Was that these rooms were very expensive. Mm -hmm. um, now the technology, the prices are coming down. The technology prices are coming down, um, and, and everything there. So we're gonna we we see tremendous growth opportunities um, in these huddle room spaces, and uh, we are are very much uh, taking a look at that. You know, looking at, at um, anywhere from you know features that we do today, which is like calendaring, customization features. Um, we're taking a look into to the future of um, really uh, uh, making uh, rooms a lot more uh, intelligent. You know, um, and and trying to bring more features to the to the table through the use of machine learning or mm. um, you know connecting in um, uh, mobile devices and just making making the experience and really paying attention to that user uh, user experience you know that's that's probably the technology is extremely important but but chief among that um, is is we focus very much on that user experience um, the user interface making sure that it is as simple as possible. Um, and that's where a lot of um, uh, other technology companies that are out there, they completely miss the boat on it. You know, they, they come up with a great idea, but the implementation to the end user is, is very complicated. And therefore, the, the technology ends up collecting dust in the corner. And, okay. and that's the last thing, you know, it, it should be happening in these rooms. Gotcha. Okay, so as somebody that's kind of sitting the gatekeeper of the, the future of the products and things like that, you know, what, what are you most excited about? Yeah, you know, it, it, it's uh, there's a, there's a lot of things that I'm really excited about. I mean, looking uh, into the future, all the way uh, through 2022 right now, um, cool. and uh, uh, trying to figure out where those technology trends are going to take us. Mm -hmm. um, so, it, it, anything I talk about, I have to always have to do the disclaimer. Is, is of course. Uh, you know, this stuff is is totally uh, technologist um, nerd stuff, but. Um, you know, the, the things that are really fascinating me right now are, are things like machine learning, okay. um, especially when it comes to the camera. Um, you know, these, these cameras inside of the room, people are, are putting video conferencing in there. Um, these cameras uh, take in an immense amount of data that uh, we're doing very little with. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it would be really uh, interesting to be able to um, understand user behaviors in a room, um, facial recognition, voice recognition um, on the audio side, being able to take those sort of things and enhance that experience um, in those rooms are, are, are very interesting to me. Um, being able to just do something as as simple to you and I is, is recognize an object in a room, you know, un understand where the phone is, uh, for instance, as on the table. As opposed to me. Yeah, exactly, and being able to tell the difference between those the, those objects inside of the room, or maybe a whiteboard on the wall, being able to tell um, that that is a whiteboard on the wall, and maybe have a feature that can can work along with that. Um, so th those are a lot of things that that uh, we're taking a look at. Um, the the future is really really interesting. There's a lot of neat uh, emerging technologies uh, that are that are just starting to crop up. And, um, and and look very much uh, forward to, to what the, the future has to bring for uh, not just technology in the room, but also for life size.
That's really cool. Well, Robert, thank you so much for uh, for joining us today. Yeah. Uh, for anybody out there that's curious about what Robert's teams are working on, definitely subscribe to our blog. Uh, that's a great place to see kind of what's the latest and greatest things that happen through LifeSize. Uh, follow us on our social media platforms. They always post, you know, we just, you, know, you talked about how we just posted uh, the new phone HD customizations. Yeah. It's all over our social right now. So if you want to see that in action, take a look. Um, and yeah, thanks for, for joining and thanks everyone out there. We'll, we'll see you next time. Bye.